So the Impossible Garden is an exhibition of 12 uh, sculptural artworks here at the uh, Bristol Botanical Gardens, uh, but they're all inspired by studying vision and optical illusions. And all this artwork came about as part of a residency, a Leverhulme Fellowship residency at the Bristol Vision Institute. So Bristol Vision Institute um, is based in the University of Bristol. It, um, it brings together scientists from across a really wide variety of disciplines who have a common interest in the process of seeing and vision. And it integrates researchers who work in the Bristol Eye Hospital, people who work in engineering, people who work in biology, people who work in history of art, people who work in film and television, people who work in experimental psychology like I do. Um, and what that does is it creates a community, um, a team if you like, to answer one of the fundamental questions about um, what it is to be human. People think that our eyes are just like little cameras and take a snapshot. But it really isn't like that. And I work with children for whom their vision processing doesn't work very well and they can have real difficulties day to day managing. And because it's so hard to explain the kind of difficulties they're having to teachers and to even family members, it makes it very hard to get help for them. So to use art and science and examples from the animal world and from artificial intelligence to illustrate the limits of how vision processing works and uh, the importance of it and how different people and different animals and different machines even all have limits, it can help communicate to people what we're talking about when we're trying to help patients with poor vision. I think it's excellent that this exhibition is, is housed in the University Botanic Gardens because normally when we see demonstrations of visual illusions and the like, it's in the rather sort of sterile atmosphere of a, of a museum. Whereas here, seeing these uh, illusions working in the natural world is, is sort of much more striking. The Botanic Gardens, of course, is, is a rich world of colour anyway, so we hope members of the public not only enjoy the, the art display of, uh, that Luke Jerram's put in here, but also enjoy the environment of the beautiful flowers and plants around us. I try to make artwork that's going to be appreciated by everyone, whether you're a child or sort of a, a perceptual psychologist or an artist. There's something here for everybody and I um, hope everyone comes along and enjoys it.